Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're gonna to be making a resin tray. So let's jump in and get started. I mixed in some decadence glitter from Dryer Days Art Studio. I mixed this into about one ounce of clear resin and I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. I did mix up my resin off camera, but if you're new to resin and you wanna see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin, check out my Milky Way coaster tutorial. I'll link it down below. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin and the coasters turned out really pretty as well. We're gonna be pouring this tray in two layers. This is just the first layer. I'm just filling up the rim with that glitter. I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours and here we are the next day. We're going to go in and do some alcohol inks. I filled up the mold the rest of the way with clear resin. I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy and I'm just going to drop down some alcohol inks from Dryer Days Art Studio. I'm using Prussian Blue and Vivid Purple and I am using Sinker White from Let's Resin. Just going right over those drops of color that I added and now we're going to go in and add more drops of color just like this adding a little bit more white and that's going to be it for the alcohol inks I am going to add a little bit of angel white epoxy paste I basically just mix the product up inside the container and scrape off my stir stick on the side of the container and that's how much I use of the angel white. It doesn't take much at all. This is one ounce of clear resin. I'm gonna mix that up really well and then we're gonna pour it um, over the alcohol inks that we dropped. So we're gonna add that white that we mixed up just like this. I am gonna also add some clear resin. Just drizzle it right on over the inks super easy and you can see off to the left i had some of that decadence decadence glitter left over um, after we did the first layer so i poured it into this round mold on the left and i wasn't sure what was going on if my mold wasn't level so i did stick a little popsicle stick under there i am going to go in and give it a little swirl with my finger and that's going to be it i'm going to cover it up let it dry for 24 hours and then we'll be ready to demold it Here's the little round that we made. I did fill up the mold the rest of the way with that angel white that I had left over, but you can see how pretty that decadence glitter is. It's got such a gorgeous sparkle, lots of fun colors in there, and here's the tray. So after I turned off my camera, I realized that I overfilled this mold. So what I did was, while the resin was still wet, of course, I took one of my stir sticks and just kind of scraped it over the piece to get the excess off because I overfilled it by mistake and I almost didn't realize that I had overfilled it I was getting ready to cover it up with an upside down storage container and I was like oh my gosh I overfilled this so I just took that little stir stick scraped off the excess but it actually gave me a really cool wispy design and I was so confused how I got so much pink on this because remember we only used Prussian blue and vivid purple alcohol inks. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't remember using pink, but I think it turned out really cool. It's got some really awesome wispy kind of effects in there. And I think that was from taking the stir stick and scraping it over the mold um, because I had overfilled it. And I did have one bubble show up on the little um, rim of the tray, but that's okay. I still think it turned out really awesome. And I don't know if I mentioned um, this or not, but I got this tray mold from Blue Create Molds. I will link her site down below in the description box. Um, she used to be on Etsy, but she's actually in the process of transitioning to her own website. So I will link her information down below. And here it is just inside in some different lighting. Um, I do all my resin out in my garage, so the lighting out there is not the best. I have a lot of lighting, but it just never really does the pieces justice. And you could just put like a little perfume bottle on this or use it for really whatever you want. You could even put it, you know, on the windowsill by the sink. If you're doing dishes, you could put your rings on it. It's just a fun little project and I wanted to upload this video to show you guys how easy it was to make and I hope you give it a try. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and as always, I'll link all the materials I use down below in the description box. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys.